Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a live idea room app in Flutter using Zico Cloud. Zico Cloud is such a great platform that provides APIs, SDK, and a UI kit to create communication apps. So, in this video, we are going to create a live idea room app with Zico Cloud. So, if you click on these products and UI kits, you can read more about the UI kits that is provided by Zigo Cloud. So these are the pre-built UI kits. So Zigo Cloud provides 20 plus UI kits. These are open source and 50 plus components. That is a huge number. And it is also cross-platform, ready to use and easy to customization. So you can use these APIs and SDKs and UI kits of Zigo Cloud and you can also customize them so in this video we are going to use a live id room ui kit and api for our app so first of all you have to sign up you have to create your own account and when you sign up create your account you will get 10,000 free minutes that can be used in your different applications so click on sign up but i have already created my account so i will log in so i have logged into my account and uh, click on this projects and projects management so you can create your new account new project from here create and uh, live id room so we will create live ID room app so i will click on this and on next i will give it a name live ID room live ID room so we are going to use these ui kits of zico cloud so i will click on this start with ui kits So my project is creating, let's wait. So here my project is created and uh, I will click on for filter because I am using it for filter development. And click here. So this is the app ID and the app sign in that we will need in our app. So I will create a class utils and in which I will create two variables app id and app sign in app enter app id static string app sign in so copy this app id and paste here and this app sign in paste between the codes So we have created a utils class and saved two static variables app id and app sign in. So we will we will use these in our app. So now go to your pubspec.dev pubs.dev website and search here zigo idea room. So this is this one. Zico UI kit pre built a live idea room and uh, install this package in your filter project. So, before creating our app, we have to do some setting. So, we have to give some permissions and uh, change the compiled SDK version. So, copy these permissions. Go to Android 
app src main and android manifest.xml and paste these permissions here and go to build.gradle change this compiled sdk version to 33 and you have to create a file that is proguard rules.pro in your android app here in the file of built.gradle proguard rules.pro and copy this one paste here and also copy this one and paste it in build.gradle so here build types release sign in config below the sign in config paste here so our setting is done let's wait for package to install So our package is installed, uh, go to pub.dev website and here you can also get a simple or example code. So you can copy this one and just paste here. and change this your secret id from utils dot apid and import this utils file app sign in so these are the two variables we have stored in utils dot dot file and we are using these app id and app sign in here so this is a simple code of live idea room that is ego cloud also providing so we have to do some other settings so go to your build art grader file and change this min sdk version to 19 and uh, search here multi text issue with filter open this one and here you will get solution so this error will definitely come and that's why I am doing it before the running so this one multi dex enable true in your build art griddle in the default config so here multidex enable true and uh, and copy this one paste here and uh, you have to also do this one copy these two and go to your android gradle dot properties so that is android 
Gradle Lord properties. So this is already done. So let's read this one. Now run your project. So our app is running. Let's change something. So it is using a picture, but we don't have a picture. So I will read this. You can use your own pictures for background. And uh, here is Avatar pictures. You can use also this one. But uh, I don't have any picture for now. So our app is running. You can uh, use your own pictures for background and Avatar pictures. But I am just leaving it here. And uh, you can also watch a live. So in this app you can join a ITO room app or you can also host your own live ITO room in which you will be a host and others will join you. So this is a great benefit of Zigo Cloud that provides APIs and SDKs to create our own applications in a few lines of code and in a few minutes. So you can check this app on real devices so it will work fine. So that's all for today. Thanks.